Hi! Hope you're all staying busy. In this busy video, I'm gonna talk about Arm & Hammer Essentials deodorant with natural deodorizers. They have a, a bunch of different versions of these. There's three of them so far that I've discovered. I've tried all three already. I'll talk about the other one in a separate video, but in this video specifically, we're talking about the one that has coconut and geranium. It's a type of flower. So Arm & Hammer Essentials, this deodorant is another one of those more naturally friendly kind of deodorants. It doesn't have a bunch of chemicals in it. It uses natural plant extracts and baking soda to fight odor and bacteria and smells good. So let's look at the ingredients. Oh, I had way too much caffeine. The first ingredient is propylene glycol. Uh, vegetable derived. I mean, I haven't really heard a whole lot of good things about that. I heard, I don't really know. I'm not going to get into it. It's vegetable derived. It says vegetable derived right here. Next is water. Then sodium stearate. I don't know what that is. I don't want to get into it. And then sodium bicarbonate. Mm. So we got baking soda in this. Arm & Hammer has baking soda in all of their products. So deodorant is no exception. They use the baking soda to kill bacteria, absorb odors, and all that good shit. You can use baking soda with, like, almost anything. Okay, citrus, allium bergamia, it's bergamot peel oil. Got cocoa, cocos nucifer, it's coconut oil. Paracum gorilliflus, ger, it's geranium flower oil, fragrance. Ethylixoglycerin, Ocadining HCl, Tetrasodium EDTA. Oh, I, I prefer not to have that, but that's really the only thing I'd rather not have. I'm not gonna let one stupid ingredient deter me from using this thing. And Alatonin. I don't know what that is. I don't really know what most of these are. The only things I know are the different flower oils and the coconut oil. Yeah, there's basically uh, vegetable-derived oil. There's flour oil, coconut oil, baking soda. Those are the main ingredients in here that is making you smell good and killing off these odor-causing bacteria. It lasts for 24 hours, and I've noticed that antiperspirant lasts for 48 hours, and the standard deodorant lasts for 24 hours, because every standard deodorant that I see, like the natural ones and the typical, the conventional deodorants, they all say 24 hour odor protection. So I don't use antiperspirant anymore because it's not really good for you because the antiperspirant, the aluminum, whatever ingredient that they use basically blocks your sweat glands and it's just, it's not really good for you. Like that's how it makes you sweat less because it blocks your sweat glands. So it causes your sweat glands not to sweat. So like it works, but like when, when I see like a warning on the back that says don't use or consult a doctor if you have kidney disease or something like that, it probably means that it's not good for you long term because obviously you're probably absorbing trace amounts of it in your bloodstream and your organs have to filter it out. So like a lot of times when I eat stuff or brush my teeth with stuff, mouthwash or stuff I put on my skin on a regular basis, I like to have all that stuff be high quality because your body is very absorbent, even your skin is absorbent. So when you're putting this crap on your armpits or whatever, you put stuff on your skin all the time, your body is gonna absorb very, very small trace amounts of some of the ingredients. So you would think you would want these ingredients to be higher quality, just so it doesn't increase your chances of developing other health problems because we have enough health problems as it is. But this is, it just looks kind of like your standard deodorant. Like there's no like artificial colors or garbage or fragrances or whatever. So it just, kind of has a sort of clear kind of color to it like it's kind of a foggy clear kind of color and it smells like a mellow fresh scent yeah it just smells like a like a, t a nice mellow kind of fresh scent it doesn't smell girly it doesn't smell manly it just 
It smells fresh. That's what it looks like. Now they have two different designs of this. This is the skinnier, more rounded design. The other Arm & Hammer deodorant, like some of the Arm & Hammer deodorants look like this. They're a little bit skinnier looking and more rounded. The other ones are a bit wider and more, they, the edges are more pointed. I'll talk about the other one where I'm, I'm, I'll show you what I mean in another video because I have the other one that's more like flat and the edges are more like sharp looking, not rounded like this. I like the look of this better. It's just easier to hold in the hand. It just looks better. But this is basically it. The Arm & Hammer Essentials with natural deodorizers, free of aluminum parabens and flashlights. I don't even know what any of that is, but obviously it's not good for you. That's why the higher quality, more naturally friendly stuff doesn't have any of that shit. It always says it on here, free of all these garbage ingredients. So this is the coconut geraninium uh, scent. Coconut oil is good. It's a natural antibacterial and you can use coconut oil for a bunch of things. So having coconut oil in here, that's always good. Is it can help you stay fresh. Kills more bacteria. It literally has baking soda in it for that, but whatever. It's a nice little thing to have. It's, it's moisturizing. It's antibacterial. It's natural. It's good. So, that has been my hyperactive review of the Arm & Hammer Essentials Natural Deodorant. Stay tuned for more busy videos and stay busy. See you, folks.